Hi friends, Alice in Wonderland here. Um, if you're new here, uh, my name is Allison and I am the self-proclaimed Freesis of Wonderland and I'm here on this channel to share with you the things that I have used to create my own world to help me find peace and happiness and connect to myself, my cycle, and my spirituality. Uh, today we are talking about a, a review of a wonderful oracle deck that I have recently discovered. This is the second edition and I missed the first one and um, I was so sad that I missed the first one and I was worried that they they weren't going to print another another copy of it and um, then they came out with another copy of it and I couldn't afford it at the time and then I had a reason a specific reason that I needed uh, a deck exactly like this for because there's nothing like that like this deck out there um, so that was the excuse that allowed me to take the plunge and I'm telling you it's so worth it uh, I, I, I was so excited to get this deck and like I said I needed it for a specific reason so unfortunately I don't have uh, an unboxing video and the reason that's unfortunate is because it came beautifully wrapped in some colorful tissue paper. It also came with this wonderful, beautiful, heartfelt card, thank you card. Um, it's handwritten. Um, I, as someone who is a, a small business owner, I appreciate really personal touches like this because I know the heartfelt meaning that goes behind it. Even just one purchase makes a huge difference in the inspiration and the motivation to continue on this path that is sometimes very difficult and uh, financially struggling. So I just know the meaning and thought that came behind this card and I'm getting a little teary eyed and choked up about it just because I know, I know, I know what it means and I, I appreciate, I appreciate these things. So, um. I will link all of the information below. Here is her business card. Her name is Renee. She's a psychic medium and jewelry designer. She also has a wonderful uh, YouTube channel here on, on YouTube. Um, I will link all of her information below. Her YouTube channel is called um, Cosme, sorry, uh, Crown, Crown Lotus is her YouTube channel and I'll link all of that information below. So we are talking about the Color Goddess Casting Cards deck. It is um, written and illustrated by this wonderful creator, Renee A. Birch. And again, her YouTube channel is Crown Lotus if you want to find her here on YouTube. Um, there is nothing like this deck out there that I, I have even considered creating a color magic related deck uh, specifically because uh, as you know I hand make my my beeswax candles um, I started creating those because I couldn't find high quality natural colored candles out there because I personally use color magic within my own personal practice um, I've always wanted something like this, um, I, I kind of hand make and create my own color magic cards that you get with your candles. Um, however, I, and I've just never taken the time to do something this wonderful. And I'm telling you, it's absolutely perfect for uh, the things that I needed it for, but also there's just a wealth of information uh, within this deck. So I've already used this deck. <laughs> I've already opened it. I, I've gone through it. I loved it. I played with it, but I feel like that is going to help me give a accurate review of this deck. Um, so it comes with this beautiful color guidebook that we will go through in a moment. Um, I tried to put the cards kind of back in color order uh, because um, we're going to do a flip through of all of them here. I find that flip throughs of decks are very helpful for me when deciding if I make a connection with the deck. Um, so I'm just putting this out there for those of you who have been thinking or wondering. There are other YouTube uh, reviews of this deck and unboxings and stuff like that, but I just put out content that I love and appreciate myself. Watching a flip through of a deck helps me 
decide whether or not I make a connection with a deck. It's so helpful because, you know, we're always drawn to all these decks. Once you start collecting decks, you just like want them all. And there's so many out there. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like this deck out there, at least that I have found. Um, so having a flip through helps you kind of <laughs> helps you kind of weed out the decks that you're not just like, oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. It helps you find the decks that you really make a connection to. And this is one of those decks. I am so glad I finally had the excuse that I needed <laughs> to purchase yet another deck. Um, so I tried to put these in order. They're, they're not in order, but because I've used them already, but we have Scarlet. So it has a like really nice um, large lettering here of, of the color. There's also some keywords, um, lots of different symbolism that is explained in the, in the guidebook. Um, I personally love the matte cards because for filming purposes, they don't have that lens glare that or the light glare that um, a lot of the shiny decks do, um, which I appreciate for filming purposes. I have some like holographic decks that are so fun and exciting to work with, but they, they do not film <laughs> well at all. And a lot of these high, high glossy decks are a little bit more difficult to shuffle. And I appreciate a good shuffle because I use it as sort of like this. It helps me get into this meditative state and tap into my intuition. So uh, I really appreciate the, the cardstock, the, the matte finish. I like the thickness of it too. Um, some might say it's a little bit thin, but I prefer it that way because I like to ruffle shuffle. Um, so the, the, the color, like very unique colors are in this deck. Um, so it's not just like your, your red, orange, yellow, green, purple. There, there's like such a wide spectrum of colors, which I love, 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 especially because uh, I use the beeswax candles for color magic. And uh, they're not always your just like regular colors. And sometimes the dyes come out different. So it's nice to have these. It's just such a wide spectrum. I mean, it's, I, I really can't say, um, <laughs> enough good things about this deck. I love it so much. We used it on a live stream on Twitch for summer solstice readings, and I was cosplaying as a flower, <laughs> a flower from Wonderland, the rose, the rose that is behind me here, and instantly made a connection with this deck. Everybody in the chat loved it. Oh, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of everyone loved this deck as well, um, one of the first readings I did was for a person named Amber and this is the card that she got and it blew it blew me away I'm sure it blew her away I was like out of all of these cards Amber gets the amber color um so instantly made a connection with this deck it's so that you can tell all of the hard work and energy that was put into um, creating this and as someone who has self-published something, it's, it's not easy. It's very difficult to do. And to have something come out this amazing and wonderful and beautiful, it's <laughs> like, it deserves a round of applause. I, I really don't know what else to say other than it's amazing. If you have had, um, been thinking about have you, if you've seen this deck and you've been thinking about purchasing, purchasing it, I highly, highly recommend it that you take the plunge. Uh, independent decks are a little bit more pricey than your um, mainstream like publishing company decks, but I'm telling you this deck is worth it, especially if you've been looking for something like this because I don't know of any other deck out there that is going to go into the magic and symbolism and even having to create all of these goddesses, it's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Um, we'll do like a really quick, we'll just pick one card just so that we can read the description and you can see, see the information that is provided there for you. Of course, like all decks, there's, um, uh, spread examples, which I honestly have not even looked into yet. I was just so excited to get this video out there. I was excited to just jump in and start using it. Um, we were just doing, uh, single card readings with this, I think on, I think we did a couple of like multiple cards, but, 
um, because some of them, some of the descriptions recommend picking a second or third or a second card. And there was one time that I got, <laughs> I kept getting ones that said to pick, pick another one. Um, so that, I think that was the example that we use more than one, but even just as a one card reading, they, they work really well. Um, they're very intuitive and, um, I found that they just are, are very accurate and, um, maybe it's just me. I mean, I'm, I've been looking for something like this for quite some time now. So, um, maybe it was just that I'm making this connection, but if you feel drawn to this deck, I highly, highly recommend it. I mean, look how beautiful the, the images are and how much, how many different colors there are. I mean, Um, there's floral information. A lot of the different symbols are floral, um, um, flor like about flowers, plants. Um, some of them are stones, um, and some of it is just like the symbolism. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure that like the hummingbird is one of the symbols in there. Um, all of the the images have a door on it as well, which I just I love door imagery. I love the symbolism of that and walking through the door and like opening up to this this magic opening up to the, the world of color. Um, I have lots of ideas for how I'm going to use uh, this deck on live streams um, and in just my personal practice as well. I would be curious, I'll have to check out the YouTube channel. I'd be curious to see if there's anything up there um, about like the process of creating this deck, because I think that would be really interesting um, for those of us who are creative people. Um, maybe there's something on their Instagram that um, had like the process of, of making it. Um, like I said, this is the second pressing, so that that, that first pressing, printing may have been a long time ago, so I'm not really sure. All right, so let's pick a card here just for the sake of this video. We'll take a look at the guidebook. Um, and if I, if, I know, if I know the people that, <laughs> that watch this channel, um, I have a feeling that um, you guys are going to uh, be really drawn and feeling connected to this deck too. So I hope that, I hope that this gets the word out there because this is, um, something that is well-deserved, uh, recognition and acknowledgement for creating something this, this amazing. So, um, let's see, can we have a card, um, just for today, I guess, <laughs> just for today, the sake of this video, what messages, uh, do you want to share out there for those that might be interested in purchasing this deck. We have Orchid, a rare, uncommon, and unique, and that is very fitting for this deck here. <laughs> so let's read the information just so that you can see what, uh, what all comes in the guidebook. So like I said, there's, um, in the beginning, there's an introduction about the deck, and uh, spread examples, uh, which I, I have to, I have yet to explore. So I'm sure, I'm sure they're wonderful. I'm sure they're super creative. And um, so what you get here is you get um, the keywords. The crystal associated with orchid is shugalite, and the flower, of course, is orchid. Um, the keywords, uh, rare, <laughs> uncommon, unique. Uh, and then like a little, this side has like a little brief description. So this, um, your unique qualities hold value and worth. This is a rare opportunity that requires your attention. Consider starting a collection of unusual objects. Consider purchasing this deck. I can't believe that this card came up. See, like instant connection to this information. So that's like a brief information with the keywords and basic meaning if you just wanted to like do something really quick and then there's a, a more in-depth description on the other side here which i'll read to you so the orchid goddess knows that she is unique and she reminds you that you are as well 
what others may not understand is both valuable and part of who you are. You are one of a kind, true self, and you are like no other. Orchid goddess wears what she wants, setting trends by boldly doing what others have not yet done. Her strange feathery fan-like hat and handmade shugalite crystal necklace fit her personality. The bulky shield-like shugalite brooch above her is a favorite as well. Shugalite instills feelings of freedom and peace of mind. She has a collection of rare orchid flowers, but her favorite is the one that is the color, a pale purple blue flower with pink and gray undertones. Even her doorway is odd, having a round shape. Ooh, yeah, I didn't notice that before. Having a round shape. It's like a hobbit door. <laughs> Um, having a round shape with straight lines donning the glass. If you drew this card, then you are being asked to find your own uniqueness and to fearlessly honor it. Don't be afraid to create a persona or style that resonates with who you really are. After all, if we were all the same, what a boring world it would be. Um, my life would be boring without this wonderful deck. I have so enjoyed it. I hope that you are interested in purchasing it. Uh, go check out um, Renee A. Birch. You can find her on YouTube under Crown, uh, Crown Lotus. And again, I will put all of that information in the description below as well as where you can purchase on her Etsy shop. And thank you so much, Renee, for creating this beautiful deck. It was exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I... Um, I hope to see more wonderful things from you in the future. Uh, be the beautiful orchid that you are. Those of you who are watching and Renee as well. I appreciate you for creating this wonderful deck. And um, we'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>